Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by uncertainty. You should then be able to describe how we can determine the level of uncertainty of a group of results. Ok, I'm showing you here an experiment. Students used timers to time how long a toy car took to roll down a ramp. The students started their timers when the car was released and stopped their timers when the car reached the end of the ramp. They then increased the height of the ramp and carried out the experiment again. I'm showing you the results of the experiment here. Now a key idea you need to understand is that every time we make a measurement we can introduce random error. And a big source of random error in this experiment will be the reaction times of the students. Every student will start the timer and stop the timer at slightly different points. So what that means is that we cannot be certain of the accurate or true value of any measurement. Scientists call this uncertainty. Now when we have a set of measurements like this, we can determine the uncertainty using this equation. The uncertainty is the range of values divided by 2. Now I just need to make one important point. In science, the word range means the minimum value to the maximum value. And if you're asked to determine a range, then you must always state both values. So for the 10 centimeter measurements, the range is from 1.45 seconds to 1.81 seconds. However, in maths, the range is the difference between the minimum value and maximum value. So in maths, the range will be stated as 0.36 seconds. Now, when we calculate the uncertainty in science, we need to state the range as the difference, as we would in maths. So for the 10 centimeter ramp height, the uncertainty is 0.36 divided by 2. This gives us a value of plus or minus 0.18 seconds for the uncertainty of these measurements. I'd like you to determine the uncertainty of the measurements for 20 centimeters and 30 centimeters. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, the uncertainty for the 20 centimeter measurements is plus or minus 0.41 seconds. And the uncertainty for the 30 centimeter measurements is plus or minus 0.47 seconds. Okay, now these uncertainty values tell us where the actual or true value is likely to lie. So for example, looking at the 10 centimeter ramp, the mean is 1.64 seconds. And the uncertainty is plus or minus 0.18 seconds. So that means that the true value lies somewhere between 1.46 seconds and 1.82 seconds. Ok, so hopefully now you can describe what's meant by uncertainty and determine the level of uncertainty of a group of results. Mm -hmm.